Hi everyone, it's Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Today is Monday, June 22nd, 2020, and leave it to the KPCT training challenge to get me off my you-know-what and do something I've been thinking about for a long time, and that is to teach one or more of the snakes to do a more pronounced operant conditioning exercise than just simply target training and station training. And I was really impressed by a paper that was published in 2015 in Animal Cognition by Emer et al, where wild-caught Burmese pythons were taught to depress a button, but only when that button was lighted up. So they were trained to push a lighted button that would then release a door that would lead them to food. And I was really impressed with the whole paper. I've read the whole paper and all of their methods and everything that they went through the, to train the snakes to do this, and I wanted to try it because I can think of several practical applications for teaching a similar operant behavior on some of our snakes, especially on a couple of our snakes who were rescued and have some really unclear feeding parameters. I would like to take the human element out of feeding them and have them have to operate on their environment somehow to push a button, to depress a lever, to produce food for them. This week's KPCT training challenge was to teach your animal to put something in a basket. It's a pretty common behavior with dogs and with horses. I'm really anxious to see how people this coming week do it with cats because I'm always impressed with all the cats videos that are submitted. But I wanted to try it with a snake. I thought if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it now. What I was trying to do was get the snake to figure out that in order to get the food reward, they had to push a ball off a table into a basket. Now the particular snake I used, which is a corn snake, is very used to getting things out of a basket. At first, when we were trying to train this behavior, he saw the basket and he was going directly for the basket and bypassing the ball. And it took about six or seven trials before he realized that he had to push the ball in order to get the food reinforcer. We actually were able to do it in one short training session. And when I say short, I want to say about a half an hour, 45 minutes of working with the snake. I was able to get him to successfully push the ball, nudge it into the basket so that he could get reinforced. And the behavior, again, that I was trying to reinforce was pushing the ball in order to get the food reward. Yes, good job. Yes, good job. Yes, nice job. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.